wow light that it messes up so they're stopped again All right guys, welcome back to another video of FSD. We are on version 12.5.1.1. We do have a merge coming up. This will be interesting because the car's not really giving us any space behind us. And yeah, we made it nice. Uh, we are on hardware for um, in a Model Y 2024. Um, we are I'm currently on a- Turn left onto Connors Road. We are currently on assertive mode, and uh, yeah, just trying out the new build of 12.5.1.1. I'm not expecting to see any major improvements here. Um, I think some people were saying that it could be the front latch, but I'm pretty sure it's the actual FSD version that has been upgraded. Yeah, so I don't think this would include an additional like car update I think that would just change this number here so I think this is something to do with FSD in some way um, maybe those lower dots are for like not changing the nets but changing how they communicate with the car or something weird I don't know so it'll be interesting to see if there's any actual improvements here um, doing an unnecessary lane change which is interesting for version 12.5.1 um, but we do kind of do that a lot here we actually made a pretty good decision because now the car in front of us is doing it too but that was more of a luck thing than anything now question is is this going to turn the blinker on to merge oh it does okay that's good sometimes it doesn't um, which I definitely think it always should there even if it knows it like Everyone's going to merge to one point, but it should always be put in the blinker because we do get to merge to the left lane. So it's good to see it. Um, we've been having some issues with this blinking red up here. It has a stop sign and a blinking red. And it's been causing issues for the car where it will stop, do its full stop, go, do another stop. And then sometimes it'll go and stop again or just continue on. I usually end up putting the accelerator because i got people behind me and I don't really want them to rear end me. So see how it goes today hopefully it does better in 12.5.1.1 um, this is the only blinking red that I have issues at I've gone through other ones and it it's perfectly fine it does its normal stop but I don't think those ones have a stop sign so I don't know if it's because there's a stop sign and the light that it messes up so they're stopped again did a little jerk with the wheel I'm pushing the accelerator to get through that because I really don't like when it slams on the brakes when the other guy is like already starting to go. So that's still not fixed. That has only been in 12.5. That was never an issue in 12.4.3 or any other previous build. So it's weird to see that show up in uh, version 12.5 since 12.5 has pretty much fixed everything, but now it's got a new bug. So still very happy with 12.5.x. Um, I was more happy with plain 12.5. 12.5.1.1 uh, though does seem to go back to more of 12.5 uh, vanilla. So we'll see if that continues the trend today. Uh, we're crawling through here right now for some reason. I'm not too sure why. There's really no reason for it. I really would like to make this light here. Um, that's something that has changed in version 12 that I really do like is when we're approaching a yellow it just always seems to know what to do um, I was coming down to a yellow and it actually stopped and then right when it stopped the light actually did change so it was like actually perfect with what it did I, I don't know how it's figuring out the timing and stuff but it's definitely doing something to calculate timing or something because it's it's like a human thinking now. I think it's almost better even. I don't know if it's calculating how long a yellow is gonna last based off speed or, or what it's doing, but it, it's definitely a game changer. And whatever they're doing with that, I hope they continue doing with all these little bugs like the blinking red over there. Um, I guess that's kind of really the only major issue that I have on this build. Uh, 
there's some random interventions that do occur. Sometimes I push the part a little too much where I'm hitting the accelerator instead of, because I'm not patient. And then that causes an intervention or disengagement rather. Um, but yeah, the car is pretty good. Uh, and if you don't push it, I don't know if it would actually run into anything. Um, uh, yeah, it's doing pretty good. Huge improvements. Uh, we see updates, I think, every week now. Because I think they just started rolling out this newest build on Friday. And on last Friday, I think they did 12.5.1. So it does seem like they're, they're pushing these quick. There's a lot of good things coming in this build still. Um, and I think Summon is coming this month. I don't know if that's part of this build. Elon said it's a different code. Not sure what that really means. I'm really excited for that though. I haven't been able to try Summon in any sense on this car. And uh, back in the day, like 2016 era or somewhere around there, where I was dreaming of having a Tesla, I thought that was one of the coolest features were to be able to summer in your car, even just move it forward and backwards. And in the old days, I thought it was pretty cool. So I'm really excited for any kind of summon feature to come out for this car. We are cameras only on this car, but I think it has enough sensors or enough cameras to sense the environment. But I'll get back to you guys on the green. Right now we got a green. Moving on forward here. Traffic's pretty low today. Nothing crazy going on. No buses or anything, so it's been pretty, pretty simple ride. FSD's been doing great. Haven't had to take over. No disengagements today so far. Just the one intervention at the uh, blinking red over there. Hopefully that gets resolved, and then I don't have to hold on to the wheel or disengage. Okay, so this is another issue where it goes in the middle here, but I'm going to take over and put it where it needs to go. Yeah, I have taken over, thanks. Uh, center's in lane, but should be to the left lane to go straight. Hopefully that gets back to the team. And they can fix that because that is a continued thing. It actually was fixed in 12.4.3 and partially fixed. It kind of felt like it was going away in 12.5. Um, and it still just keeps doing it. So there's another place where there's the uh, no paint divider. And it does handle that section pretty well. So I'm sure it can figure it out. It just needs some more time, I guess. Sometimes it will also get behind this car and that car if they're like, if the car, I don't know. Sometimes the car decides to, to do it. Sometimes it decides to just go in the middle. So hopefully it gets fixed though. We'll get back to you on the green. Well, actually there's pretty much nothing else on this trip. So thanks guys for watching and have a good one. Wow, it handled that person walking actually pretty good. Like he was walking into our lane, but like slowly enough that the car was confident to go through. Also, this is an issue that has happened at 12.5 where it takes longer to get over. Previous builds, it was getting over like in almost right at the bike lane, which was nice. All right, I think that's it now, guys. Um, like, dislike if you don't like. Uh, subscribe if you want more. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a good one.